This is the future. Good day, my old and new Cryptonians. Welcome back to part 4 of our fire marshal videos. Today we're going to be talking about different classifications of fire and also different types of fire extinguishers that you get and that we commonly use in the mining industry. So let's begin. Not all fires are the same and a fire is classified according to the kind of fuel that it burns. If you use the wrong type of fire extinguisher on the wrong type of fire, you can actually make situations much, much worse. Like this. Look at what happens when you put water on an oil or a grease fire. It is therefore very important that you understand the four different types of fire classifications which are as follows. Class A is all your normal burning materials like wood, paper, plastic, the normal stuff that you get lying around in the house. Class B is flammable liquids, petroleum, gasoline, oil, grease and acetone. Class C is an electrical fire, so that will include any equipment that's energized, a computer, a TV, anything with electricity flowing through it. But at the same time, the moment that you switch off the electricity, that classification will automatically switch from a class C to a class A, because all that's left is normal plastics and so on. Then class D. Class D is flammable metals. That'll be like magnesium, like the mags on your car wheels, that's magnesium, potassium, sodium, and aluminium. Look at how easily magnesium ignites and how bright it burns. And on this video it's actually raining so there's water falling into the bin. So can you imagine mixing water with magnesium? It will have an explosive reaction. So it's not a good idea to put water on magnesium or burning metals. There's also a class K. But we're not going to be discussing class K at the moment. That's normal cooking oils. So let's get to the type of extinguishers. There are three basic types of fire extinguishers. You get water. You get DCP, which is a dry chemical powder, and then you get CO2, which is a carbon dioxide extinguisher. <laughs> extinguisher. So what we use on the mine mainly is DCP and CO2. We don't use water. So let us look closer at the two most common types of fire extinguishers find in the mining industry, and I think in most industrial areas. Let's start off with your dry chemical powder or DCP. A DCP extinguisher is good for class A, B and C fires or class B and C. There is a reason why we don't prefer to use a DCP on a class C fire which I will discuss with you just in a moment. A DCP extinguisher uses nitrogen or carbon dioxide for pressurization. So there's a couple of disadvantages with this as well which are as follows. The chemical cloud that it produces could cause visibility issues and it can also create respiratory problems now you'll I'm not sure if you've ever encountered this before but the dry chemical powder when you inhale it it burns your nose it really burns it is made of bicarbonate of soda that can burn your throat it does definitely burns your nose some DCPs cannot be used with any kind of foam agent because they will degrade the foam blanket that it creates and many of the DCP powders are also corrosive to metals. Now, let's look at carbon dioxide extinguishers. Carbon dioxide extinguishers are good for class B and class C fires. And we prefer to use it on class C because it's clean. Can you imagine you step into an office and the electrical connection or plug at the back is burning and you pull out that DCP and you start spraying powder everywhere. What's going to be the worst thing to do? Getting the IT guy to clean that PC. You're going to have powder everywhere. Into the CPUs, your RAMs, your GPUs, everything will just be a mess. Whereas CO2 is the same as dry ice. It is gas. It's clean. 
and it will kill the fire quickly and it will leave no trace of any kind of dust or dirt or anything like that. So your sweet 10,000 Rand Plus graphics card will thank you for using that. This extinguisher is stored under its own pressure and is ready to be used at any time. Now how it extinguishes fire is by displacing the oxygen in the area and that's also one of the disadvantages. So when you want to use this extinguisher, try not to use it in an enclosed space. Because it displaces oxygen, you will have a problem breathing. It takes out the oxygen out of the air, so it smothers the fire. So it is advisable that if you want to use that extinguisher, or if that extinguisher is available in a certain area, there must be a SCBA available, which is a self-contained breathing apparatus. You know, the mask with the oxygen cylinder at the back or air cylinder you need to have that so that you can breathe while using that extinguisher or in an open space where there's a bit more oxygen to breathe when using it so don't spray it into someone's face or into someone's direction another disadvantage is that it only has a limited discharge range so you have to get really up close and personal to a fire to be able to use it and lastly the tip where the nozzle is has got a handle use the handle when extinguishing a fire because it's gas, it will freeze up the tip and that freeze can actually cause frostbite on your fingers. So it is actually very dangerous to touch the tip of the nozzle while using it. Use the provided handle. Then lastly, if you are not sure what kind of extinguisher to use on the fire that you have, for the guys who are struggling to read because you do find them, on every extinguisher there are pictographs that shows you exactly what the fire is good for, what it can handle and what it's not good for. So just look at the pictures and you will definitely know what extinguisher you have and where to use it. And here are some examples of pictographs. So that's it guys, now that you know the classes of fire and the types of fire extinguishers that you get, we can actually start discussing the do's and don'ts on handling a fire extinguisher and how to approach a fire but that will be in the next video so don't forget to subscribe to this channel so time for a short summary number one you get four classes of fire A B C and D A is normal woods and plastics paper and so on B will be liquids like oil, grease, fuel, gasoline, C is electrical fires, and D will be metals. Remember that you get three different types of extinguishers, water, dry chemical powder, and CO2. Don't use the wrong extinguisher on the wrong fire. Make sure that you use the right extinguisher with the right kind of fuel that's burning. And lastly, if you don't know what extinguisher is good to be used, look at the pictographs. It will show you what is what. So next week, remember to subscribe to this channel because next week we'll be looking at how to inspect a fire extinguisher, what are the do's and don'ts of handling a fire extinguisher. And remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up because it really helps out this channel. Remember if you've subscribed, to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of Fire Marshal 5 when it gets uploaded or any of the other videos. And coming up, I'm going to start stripping the BMW. I have to take off the head and redo the gasket and I've never done a beam before so it's going to be a learning curve for me as well and also stay tuned for my other video where I'm going to congratulate everyone for subscribing to my channel and helping me to hit 500 subscribers wow! awesome remember to check that video out as well so thanks guys but remember whatever you're doing keep it safe and until next time Cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be stay taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my YouTube page 
there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers